HotQtg 1000 software allows you to collect, store, display, and export data from a variety of sources such as SC controllers, PLCs, databases, and SCADA systems. It gets that data, stores that data, and then allows you to export that data to Excel, HotWims Online, and UDG 1000 is also an OPC DA server, so any OPC DA clients such as SCADA systems can also use this to connect to the data. Okay, UDG 1000 running here. And what I've come into is the opening screen. I'm in the view data screen. And right now I haven't configured anything. So what I want to do is I have an SC 1000 controller with some probes connected to it, and I want to connect up to that device. So I'm going to go click on input. And here are my configured collectors. I don't have any, so I'm going to add a collector in. Here are the available drivers. So these are the things I can communicate to. I want to connect to an SC1000, and I'm going to connect to it and communicate to it via Modbus TCP. So this is a, a SC1000 that's on my uh, local area network here, and it's IP addressable. So I go ahead and click Add. I'm in Rio Rancho, so I type in Rio Rancho. SC1000 and I click save and it comes up and says well how do we communicate to it in this case I need to type in the IP address so that's 10 128 131 88 I specify the port and slave address those are defaulted in this case they're correct so I click test connection and the system goes out pings that IP address, make sure it's an SC1000, so we're communicating, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save here. Next, I'm going to go to Parameters, and notice what happened when I clicked on Parameters. All of the uh, available parameters from the source, all the tags are already displayed, so I went out and auto-detected, in this case, the SC1000 telegrams. These are the things that are exposed via the Modbus TCP that I can look at. So in this case, it's pretty easy. All I need to do is click on the things that I want to look at. I want to look at the DO reading. I bring it across. I want to look at the temperature. I bring it across. And now I'm going to start to monitor those points. I can also look at device errors, statuses, anything that I want to look at, I can. In this case, we'll keep it simple. I'm going to go ahead and click View Data. And what you'll notice is, is that the data is coming in. My DO is at 8.33. My temperature's at uh, 24.8, and the data is updating every five seconds on my screen. If I go back to input, I can adjust some of these parameters about the DO and the temperature that I'm collecting. So I'm going to go into Edit, and I'm going to choose Units. My DO units are milligrams per liter, and I don't need to see all those decimal places. I'll do it to two decimal places. And now on Temperature, I'm going to edit it also. Choose degree C. And I want to see it to one decimal place. So now I've set this up. I've got my polling frequency of five seconds still, but now it's going to look a little bit nicer on my view data screen. So as I look at it here, now I got my 8.33, my 24.8. Now the data is getting updated every five seconds, but we log all that data. So if I want to look at the history, I simply just need to double click on that point and it's going to pull up the data. This is when we were collecting it to all those decimal places. You see I changed to go down to just one. Now that's the data that I have stored in the system. I can also use this to essentially query the data for any time that I've collected the data. So if I've been collecting data for two years, I can set this and query that date range, you know, two years ago, a year ago, and see what the raw data look like. Now, We've quickly taken you through how to set up an SC1000 controller and communicate and start collecting data. In other videos, we'll take you through how to set up your output to export that data to other programs.